This is a simple video guide on how to clear the overflow from your Jetrix KX7 or any other of the KX series. Now that we've deactivated the head power, which is typically signified by your meniscus pressure sensors being turned off, we can access the overflow ports on the KX series. If you lift the flap, you have all your tubing which connects to your print heads, but at three separate points you have the overflow options. On the far left, indicated by tube with just one red cap on the end, you have the overflow for CMYK. In the centre, you have the overflow connection tube for your function channel, so your primer and varnish. And on the right, you have the overflow tube for your white. On this occasion, we'll access the white overflow because it's slightly easier and closer to the camera. We take the red cap off. Don't discard this. Keep, keep it uh, safe because you'll need it again. Then simply connect your syringe with a lure fitting onto the overflow tube and pull back on your syringe. Ideally it should be empty, uh, but if you have an overflow message you'll find that normally it will have ink in there. Once you pull back and ink is in the syringe, disconnect it, discard that ink. No matter how clean it appears, discard it. You don't know what contaminants might be there, what mix of ink could be there. And once it's been cleared out, locate the syringe on a second time and pull back again. You want to pull back until the syringe is effectively clear uh, or, or almost clear. Once that's done, you remove your syringe. You can put the red cap back on. If it's just for the white, then you do it for white. If you need it for any others, you do it on the others. And then at that point, you can close the flap back down and return the head power.